Hello users, I hope that you are each enjoying the app as much as possible. As questions come my way, I'll be creating these short tutorial videos to help you maximize the way in which you use the app. The question that came in today, there are two questions. Can you make a Tehillim list so that you can say the list of names before reading? And the other question was, are you able to text someone while they're reading in the app? So to help answer this question, we're going to take a look at the circles tab here. Now, in order to create, you can, of course, pray from the regular main section here by clicking on read, and then you'll get a chapter from the global count. However, if you want to pray for somebody specifically, or you want to pray for a group of people, what you want to do is you want to click on circles. When you click on circles, you have the ability to create a circle. When I go ahead and click on create a circle, you'll notice that you can click to pray for an individual or you could create a circle to pray for a group. So if you only have one person that you want to be praying for, you can leave it on this. If you want to pray for a group of people, you can click here. And of course, you can add a photo if you like. You have a circle name that you'll put in. Who are you praying for? When you click over here, praying for, and if I write a name, okay, it'll give me the opportunity, clicking on the plus button, to add as many names as I like. I'm just going to go ahead and go back here. You'll then be able to choose your specific category of what you're praying for. Is it health? Is it prosperity, children, so on and so forth. So I'm going to click on health. And you also have the ability to write a bio about the person or the group of people that you're praying for so that people have more intention when they're praying. I'm going to go ahead and just type in a name here. This will just be test. And I'm going to create this circle. Now, once I create the circle, what you're going to see here, here's the name of the circle at the top, who we're reading for. If it's more than one person and I click on the read for name, you'll see the list here. You can then click on edit and add more people or delete people as you like. And anybody that is on the app will be able to see those edits. In addition, you have again, a separate reading counter over here showing you how many chapters have been read in your circle and books completed, as well as how many members you have. How do you get more members to join? There are two ways to do so. One, in the top right corner, there's a share icon. And when you click it, a message will come up. You can go into your uh, WhatsApp or into Facebook. And if I go ahead and I click on WhatsApp and I click on somebody to send it to, it will shoot out a message with the name of the circle for people to join. And if they join, they'll automatically be entered into your specific circle. The other way is to click on add. When you go ahead and click on add, you can either invite via link, which will be very similar to what we just saw, or you can add people that you are already connected to on the app. These are connections I have. How do you add connections? To add connections, you have to go to your profile and you can search for people on the app by clicking on the search icon button and then sending them a connection request. If they're your connection, then you're able to, from here, add them. Or again, you can send a message to people via WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, however you want. And then when they click on the link, they'll automatically join the circle. Now to the answer to the other question, you can chat with the members of your circle. So you either can swipe from right to left, or you can just click on the chat icon that's right over here, and a message will, will pop up, and here you can update people and let people know how the person is doing. He's doing great, or if there's a change in name, or whatever it may be. Only an admin is able to actually add names to the specific circle. So if people join your, your group, they may then send you a message on the chat, and then you can go ahead and add in those names for more and more people to pray. Because you are an admin, you also have the ability to then delete the circle. How do you delete it? You go to members, and once you click on members and scroll down, you have the ability to edit your circle and to also delete your circle. All right, I hope that was helpful in getting you to make mo the most use out of the app. Enjoy.